Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. As a straight guy, what is the biggest turn off you've ever had on a first date with a girl? She was really attractive. We had great conversation and a really fun date. We were both excited about how things were going. And then it came time for our first kiss. And she opened her mouth like a baby bird. It was the weirdest thing. She opened her jaw as wide as it would go, mouth wide open, tongue lolling around. After a minute or two it was apparent that this was how she kissed. I engaged like that for a second and it was weird and uncomfortable, mouths wide open, tongues flicking, our teeth tapped once or twice. It felt more like being in a dentist's chair than making out. I closed my mouth down to what I considered a normal open mouth kissing opening. And that meant my lips were fully inside her wide open mouth. It was bizarre, she wouldn't relax her jaw. I guess her previous boyfriends were into that with her. The date ended and all of my attraction evaporated. I remember going home and looking in the bathroom mirror and opening my jaw all the way and trying to figure out how that worked for her and why she liked it. This was hilarious to read. How completely awkward. This reminds me of one time I was making out with a guy and he moved his tongue like how dogs lick their owners. It was very disgusting lmao. I don't find the appeal but it's just incompatibility. I died at you looking in the mirror trying to figure out. Probably both confused and a slight bit defeated wondering how it all went so weird. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. She couldn't stop talking about another guy and how much she hated him. They got married a few years later. Straight female here. Went on a date with a guy who would not stop talking about his ex. I finally asked him. After enjoying my drinks, appetizer and meal without saying a word. If he thinks she was the person for him. He shrugged and mumbled under his breath. The craziest part of this story. He called me for another date. Exclamation mark. I told him. I think we could be good friends. Never heard from him again. He was using you for free therapy. I had a guy do this to me on a second date. I declined a three road. She showed up an hour late to the date. Knowing it took me an hour to go the place she chose. Didn't answer my text asking if everything is all right. She just sat down and told me she was chatting with her friend. Didn't apologize. Date was over by that point. Did you got up and leave? Thinking face. Or waited for the date to end. I stayed. We were at this bar that has some great food and I was hungry. The date wasn't the best. But wasn't that bad either. But I knew after that. I lost my interest in her. If she had apologized. Or had a valid reason for the delay. Would be different. But the attitude got me. I had a date on her phone the entire time. We hadn't ordered yet. I think we had waters on the table. I asked her everything okay. Your mom. Kids. Everything's good. She said yes. I was able to see that she was on the dating app we met on typing. She was texting other dudes on the dating app while out with me. I got up said I'm going to use the bathroom and left. I wonder how long it took her to realize you'd left haha. -ha. Next guy walked in two minutes after he left. Still looking at her phone to this day. She probably tells the story of rude he was for ditching her. We met up at a local bar. I ordered a beer. She ordered a double Jameson's on the rocks. After about 40 minutes of good conversation, I ordered another beer. She got another double Jamio. This happened two more times. And that's when she started loudly crying in the bar because you have a job and goals and I have nothing's going for me. You're just gonna take me home, have sex with me and never call me again. I looked around and everyone was staring at me with daggers. She lived close by. So I closed our tab, walked her home, basically poured her through her front door, told her to lock it behind me, closed the door and left. Never heard from her again. Edit. I did some quick social media stalking. And it looks like she's sober now. This is just sad Imo. Well done for doing the right thing. Gods I have a similar story. Not a first date but regular bar I'd hang out in. She was one of the bartenders but off shift and drinking. She seemed bummed so we get to talking and hitting it off. Having a good time. And an hour in I realize she is fucking hammered when she grabs my crotch and starts talking about. How she really likes some dick up her ass. The working bartender kept trying to wingman us both but I was just not feeling it and it quickly becomes awkward af. Instead I walk her home. Thankfully just round the corner. Because this woman can barely stand at this point, the entire time reiterating how I'm not coming inside, phrasing, and pour her through the front door. So anyway that night must have been a real low point because she started doing meth the next day. So anyway that night must have been a real low point because she started doing meth the next day. Well that escalated quickly, not the ending I expected. You probably needed a few quadruple yamios after that lol tears of joy tears of joy. I took a girl to a nice pizzeria for dinner for a first date. They do a thing where they have a different specialty pizza every night but they don't announce what it is. You just order the, trust us. So we did that and it was some goat cheese almond whatever but it was fine. We talked and ate and had a really good time. 
Then we're leaving and I'm walking with her to her car she got real quiet and I asked her if something was wrong. Dot she turned her head and exorcist puked directly into my chest. It was so hard I had to take a step back. After a brief second for me to wrap my head around what happened I asked her if she was okay. She turned and ran for her car and drove off. I tried to text and call her to make sure she got home okay and she never responded. I ended up throwing the shirt away and my shower got clogged up with chunks that night. But the date itself went really well and I liked her a lot. So a couple of days later I texted and said I wasn't mad and would still like to try getting together again. She didn't block me but never responded. I never say any news stories about a dead woman crashing into a lamppost in that neighborhood so I assume she was okay and just was too embarrassed to ever speak to me again. The one that got away. That poor girl lol. If someone messaged me asking to go out again after I projectile vomited on him during a nice date. That'd be the biggest green flag. Like, the worst case scenario has already happened, it can only improve from there. This is the one where I feel terrible for both of you.